Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters, and I've got a reward to claim. In the last episode, we actually finished our first vault by ourselves. And now look at this, vault hunting, build yourself a vault portal, I did it. And now enter a vault, I did it, complete. A vault shield and a vault sword. I can finally get rid of my useless shield. I'm gonna try and unlock, well not unlock, but reveal whatever this one is first. Hopefully it doesn't look like the old shield. Please don't be the old shield. A scrap shield. I like it, I am fully um rusty. All of this is like rusted armor, so I'm kind of happy about that. Next, we have an unidentified vault sword. Is it better than the... Oh, okay, that was just a little server hiccup. Is it better than the sword or the axe that we have? Sword zero. I think I like the sword. You know what? I think I like the sword. Let's go ahead and take the sword with us because we're going to go into another vault today. Are we ready? Not quite Yet. First, we have to use our two unspent skill points. I'm going to go ahead and get Vein Miner because Vein Miner is great. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade our strength because I want to be a strong boy. Boom. Fantastic. We have one unspent expertise point. Now, I got to read a little bit about this because I haven't done too much reading about this one. Increases the chance of a gear piece getting the le a legendary modifier when being identified. I'm going to go ahead and learn that. Boom. Oh, baby. We are so good at this game! Get out of here, skeleton! Ready to go. I got my, uh, mar Oh, wait, no, I wanted to craft a seed pouch first. That's right, because, because then I can advance even more. Boom! Seed pouch crafted! What is next on the list? Okay, looting, and now I get to have a pouch and a pickup upgrade and a void upgrade. Whoa, is this just like a backpack? The Bounty Hunter, oh, this is great. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. What is this now? Oh, it's like extra storage? Makes backpack pick up items, voids items selected and filter. Did that work or is it just in there now? They're just in, oh, here we go. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm probably not gonna use it too much initially because I'm not sure how to use it, but I am gonna take the shard pouch stores a limited amount of soul shards, and then I'm going to take these three shulkers. We are ready for loot. Hopefully the uh, vault doesn't have reddish terrain because then it'll, oh, this is probably not going to be good. So we are again in the east. Let's get one of these down. This is a level three, three monoliths. That's fine. Level three vault here. Let's start putting down markers. Five. Like this. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it pretty well on the mini-map. That's good news. Finally, a monolith. This is my first one, and I've been searching for 12 minutes already. I gotta go back upstairs now. How do I do that? Where did I come from?
found it. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. Do I have time to loot anything around here? I don't even know if there's anything. There is something up there and up there. But do I want to take that chance? Is there something easily attainable down here? Not really. I can't believe how long it took me to find the monoliths, to be honest with you. All right, let's just get the heck out of here. I, I feel, I'll feel safer once I'm in that room. Technically, it's, yeah, it's going to be under three minutes almost by the time we leave here. So, oh, another successful vault run, guys. Okay, I didn't get very much special stuff this time. Oh, and I didn't even read last time. Vault Seed, Vault Level 3, Time Left 310, 21 spin, Experience Multiplier 1. Uh, coin piles collected 26, ores mined, but you can mine ores there? Dang it. Treasure rooms open 0, 50 chests looted, 44 mobs unalive, damage dealt 970. Okay, that's kind of cool. Look at, I had like all wooden chests, a couple of living chests maybe? Zero, zero trapped. I didn't even know there was trap chests. All right, we are level 7! Ooh, we are such good vault hunters. Okay, did I get my, yes I did. This is my favorite part. Boop. A lot of chip jewels. And an unidentified vault leggings. Okay, and what is this? Eternal soul. That sounds awesome. Well, let's see what we got. This is the helmet. Rusty Raider helmet transmog. Um, uh, not as good as the one I have. Next is some leggings. Rusty Raider leggings transmog. Again, I don't think it's as good as the one I have. And that is Squire Boots transmog. This looks better. Five armor, three. Heck yeah. I'll take some squire boots. We're moving on up, guys. We are moving on up. I also have this mystery egg. Okay, so this is a random passive mob. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole, maybe just two by two, possibly. Let's make it three by three. What passive mob will we end up with? I'm hoping for a panda. Oh, it, you get the egg first. Okay, that makes sense. What did we get? Chicken spawn egg. Oh, beautiful. As if we didn't have enough of those <laughs> already. Let's get another vault crystal ready, shall we? Bling. And this is a level 7 vault crystal. Very excited. I've been organizing my chests here. Everything is looking pretty good. I've condensed all my bronze into silver and then all the silver into gold. And now I have 9 gold. That does not seem like a whole lot. I got a whole lot of vault food, which is decent. I also want to try this. Check this out, guys. If I turn, if I uh, combine some coconut slice with crab meat, I get tropical stew, which looks pretty effective. But where the heck do I get the crab meat? That's the question. In my haste to catch up with everyone else, I'm doing another one. Again, I think I'm ready. I brought all, I brought the blocks with me. This time I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna try just leaving crumbs instead of arrows. I'll just, you know, every once in a while, I'll just leave some orange traces here and there, and it'll be like little breadcrumbs. Only problem is, it doesn't really appear very well on the map, but that's okay. We'll be able to see it a lot more easily. four minutes left I think it's time to call it the system didn't work as well as the arrows I would I would have to say because I got a little confused at points which way was which if I got turned around or something and it turned out that I actually went in a circle and uh, I could have ended up going in a circle for hours probably so this is good this is good what is this building block is this a building block oh this is not crackable okay all right, well, I guess that was an okay vault. Nothing really exciting happened there. Uh, loot, OK. 
Okay, chest, generic info claim. Now there's also the ores. I want to see if I actually mine some ores. Ores mine. There we go. Nine. Okay, so I actually mined some ores that time. All right, let's claim. We're level eight now. Level eight. Not bad at all. Whew. Relieved. And then, of course, we got this thing, which we are going to check in in a second. Let's do it. Ooh, that looked like a lot of cool stuff. Let's start with... Let's start with the boots. The boots I have right now are actually pretty good. You can see here, they're level 3 vault boots, but, uh... What do we get? Scavenger, rusty scavenger boots. I think we have better boots. Better boots? <laughs> we have better boots in our current inventory. Let's try the shield. And again, we have a vault shield, level 5. Ah, uh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. Just because I think that one is slightly better for my playstyle. And then we've got a sword. Is it going to be better than our current sword? It looks very similar. We're going to put it off to the side for now. And now this wonderful mystery box. We got emeralds. That's not bad, actually, because we kind of need emeralds. Completing bounties is a great way to secure yourself some extra loot and give yourself a solid goal to work towards. You will first need to craft yourself a bounty table and then interact with it by right-clicking it. Guess what we're about to do? We're going to craft ourselves a bounty table. Boom and a boom. Crafty table. Crafty table. Bounty table. Crap. Let's put it in here. I made this little AFK house, but I haven't filled it with anything. And now... Ooh, there's a bounty table in here, and I kind of like that. Okay, what do we do? Available, complete, status available, description, complete vaults, objective, any vault. So you complete one and you get all this stuff. That's awesome. Mining, available, description, mine six, wu to die ore in the vault. I don't even know what that looks like. I should probably start paying attention uh, to the ores in the vault. And then complete vaults. Oh, wow. This is really good. I think we're going to do that one right before. Is there a time limit? Let's say I activate that. This is active now. Oh, can you activate all of them? No, you can't. You can only do one at a time. Okay, got it. Reroll. Oh, a bounty pro will reroll the bounty. So the next vault I complete, I can actually come over here and claim these rewards plus 945 vault XP. That is exciting. All right, bounties and rewards. Inside the bounty table, you can select a bounty by clicking on one of the available bounties and clicking activate. I've already did. I've already done that. Oh, complete a bounty. And I get some chromatic iron. Fantastic. Well, looks like I'm doing another vault. A minute and 39 seconds left. I'm cutting it close this time. Cutting it close, but I made it out alive once again. That was not a bad one. That was not a bad one. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Vault seat, vault level, time left, one. Th okay, experience multiplier, just one claim. Now, the coolest thing about this is that I get to go and claim the bounty now, don't I? Right here. Claim reward. Ooh, very exciting. Wait, do I get another crate? Oh, the bounty crate. That makes sense. All right, well, let's do that. Bounty crate, here I come. Two mystery boxes. Contains random goodies. 
Diamonds, I'll take that. And emeralds, I'll take that too. Oh, we got something good. I haven't even shown you guys yet. We got something very good. I'm going to show you in a second. Unidentified vault boots, epic plus. We've got a lot of stuff to open, and I think it's going to be good. Let's start with the non-epic stuff. I know you guys are probably excited to see what the epic stuff is. Well, let's start with the non-epic stuff, shall we? Because I like to tease you guys a little bit. A couple helmets, a couple boots, a weapon, a wand, actually, and then two shields. Helmet first. Okay, not bad. 3.5 ability power, increased attack, damage for armor. Not as good as the one I'm wearing in terms of armor level. Again, I'll do a deep dive later. The first shield certainly looks exactly like my other one. Um, plus two health, 7% block chance. And this is a 5% block ch chance, but six thorns damage. Ooh, that's a decision I have to make later. Again, looks this, looks similar. Seven thorns damage. Okay, that has more thorns damage. 8% knockback resist. 5% block chance. Hmm, another tough decision. What in the heck are these? Interesting. How do they compare? These are rare. Common crafting potential level 8. Repairs and plus 5 armor. 5 armor. Durability is less. 4 ability power. Same thing. Prefix is plus 1 armor. Plus 2 health. Prefix is plus 8% knockback resistance. Plus 8% increased attack damage. So this fits my style of play a little bit better. Look at these little shoes. I'm standing on a bush. I was like, why do they look so weird? There we go. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Cool. So next up, should I start like a an armor shop or something? I'm sure everybody else is also getting a bunch of armor. I'm not the only one. What kind of wand are we getting? A wooden transmog. Well, not transmog. A wooden wand. Uh, seven ability power, 15% soul chance. All righty. The, the wands I haven't really gotten into just yet. And then we got some more boots, vault eight, or sorry, level eight vault boots, but not the, not as good, not nearly as good as the ones I have equipped, right? No, a helmet. I sure could use a good helmet. Level eight plus five armor, knockback resistance, mana regen is good. Item rarity is even better though, so I'm the, I think I'm going to keep the one I have equipped. Okay, it's time to sleep. But then after the sleep, we get to open the epic boots. I mean, I just got these and I was super happy with them. And now I'm going to have epic plus boots to put on my feet jawbone boots okay four armor not as good six percent increased attack damage that is good uh that one's eight percent increased attack damage i guess i could just do this then we have um plus three health that's good plus one armor that's good item quantity i don't know what that means item rarity eight percent <sighs> I think I'm going to have to switch them out. I just wore the... I just put these on, and now I'm rocking those. They also look pretty cool. That was a really good vault for us. Let's not forget, we got to claim our reward. Boom! Complete. Complete a bounty. The tool station. The tool station can be used to craft tools that are able to significantly enhance your experience in the vaults. It can also be used to craft jewels. Is this the compass? Oh my goodness, if I can craft a compass in the tool station, I will save so much time not putting down orange arrows. I gotta make a tool station, and I gotta make it fast. Finally, a use for this driftwood, am I right? Oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing, yeah, just one, just one driftwood I'm missing. Here we go. I thought it was three. Boop, boop, and a boop. Tool station, another quest complete. Let's put the tool station here. Ooh, hold on. Wait, a jewel. Craft jewel, gemstone. Oh, I don't know how to use this. I'm going to have to really do some research here. It looks like I can't create that compass. Is there a vault compass? There is a vault compass. Oh, netherite ingots. Yikes. I do not have any netherite ingots. I got a little bit of netherite scrap, which is here. <laughs> but man, okay, we're going to have to really try hard to get that compass because I think that's going to help us quite a bit. All right, so the tool station. Got to figure out how to use that. Um, It didn't say much in the book, did it? Other than... The tool station can be used. Yeah, it doesn't say anything else. All right. We completed it. Fault tools. Oh, there we go. This is probably going to... Oh, this will teach me everything I need to know. I got to craft a chromatic iron pick. Is this the crafting button? 
It sure is. Ooh, nine mining speed. Now, wait a minute. Can I enchant the chromatic iron pick with like, oh, I can. Efficiency, fortune, silk touch, unbreaking. That's awesome. But there's way more to tools, guys. You can apparently combine all kinds of things. Like I can have a smelting pick or a pick that also doubles as a shovel. I'm very, very excited about this. But let's complete it and get our jewels. We're now level nine vault wise. Jewels on tools. The jewel applicator. Oh, craft a jewel applicator. Or acquire, acquire a jewel applicator. How do you acquire it? Looks like acquiring it does mean craft it. Boom, jewel applicator, another one bites the dust. And apparently I automatically finished the expertise um, quest because I'd already done it before, so let's complete that as well. Is that one gold coin? Really? Just one, that's kind of lame. I've got 11 gold coin, I can make more too. You, these, oh, I, I'm really close to killing these chickens. <laughs> Hold on a second. I can put literally every jewel I have into one pick. Oh my goodness. What, is, what does this mean? Capacity minus 451. That doesn't seem good. Main hand repairs. Durability seems ridiculous. Mining speed plus picking plus coin affinity plus living. Of, oh my goodness. Plus 18.3 mining speed plus axing. This seems like too much. This seems like too much to put on. Let's go ahead and remove it. And maybe we'll kind of really take our time and just select a few things, not all the things. Oh, I don't even have space in my inventory for all my jewels. Just realized I have this relic booster pack. Oh, we got a relic. Kismet. Relic fragment. Assembles the Nazar, Nazar Bongu. Craft a relic pedestal, pedestal to assemble this fragment into a relic. Whoa, that is cute. That, oh, I, I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, let's store all my relics here. All my jewels are here, and I've made some space in these two chests for vault goodies. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. The time has come. I'm loading up this sword with looting. Now I have looting on, on this sword, and now guess what? I'm sorry, chickens. It is over. Oh, oh, you're all silent now, huh? No clucking now, huh? Time to spend some more skill points. Heal. Upgrade my heal. I think that's important. Definitely strength upgrade. And strength upgrade again. I'm sorry. I'm going all, all out for strength. And then there is another one here that I saw. Not intelligence, ability. Extra resistance ball below 20% max health. That's the one I wanted. Boom. Okay. I'm going full tank on this character build. I am having a fantastic time with these quests. The next thing I need, I need is a vault forge. Let's find out what this vault forge is all about. Ooh, ah, exciting. Whoa, I can actually, oh my goodness, that's, oh, look at all, what is this? Undiscovered. Oh, apparently I can craft an elytra. I mean, I just need the phantom membrane, which I don't have, unfortunately. But I do have the magic silk, the string, and the vault essence. You know, what I haven't done yet is start building my base, and I really, really want to do that, but I've been distracted by this quest book. However, now, knowing that I have a bunch of little little tool stations and stuff there, I want to start planning out my base. The first step, though, is going up there and taking a look at what we have to work with. So I'm hoping that there is um, quite a view from up here, but the chances are, with the way the draw distance works there probably won't be too much of a view yeah just like like i like i thought not much of a view however how epic will it look from the bottom probably amazing oh this is gonna be so awesome another thing too oh i like this little platform here i was hoping there's it's wide enough now in some places it does not look super wide but i'm hoping it's wide enough so that i can make Buildings above and then from those buildings will dangle chains and stuff to platforms and buildings below the arch um, It looks like it probably will be wide enough It's not as it's not as long as I thought actually from the bottom It looks like it's a really long arch, but really it's not that long. I mean it basically starts around here the top part of the arch, I mean, and then ends around there, which is kind of good because uh, maybe I could fit like three buildings up here and then dangle stuff from the buildings down below or from the arch down below. Oh, I'm very, very excited about this. Very excited. Getting up here is going to be a lot easier when I craft that elytra, though. I'm waiting for phantoms. Phantoms, show yourselves. While I'm waiting for these... Oh, 
Perfect. Magnetite. I just got the magnetite ingot, by the way, for completing the Vault Forge quest. And now, afterwards, now I have to, like, make magnets to progress. And then I get this, Vault Alloy, which is going to be very, very good in making actual, like, look at Vault Alloy 9, Vault Alloy. I need a good chest piece, so I think I'm going to make a chest piece. Vault Alloy, Vault Gold, and Netherite Scrap times 1, which I have one Netherite Scrap. So I'm excited to make that, but before we can make that, we've got to get... This vault alloy, which means we've got to forge a magnet in the vault forge. Magnets require magnetite ingot and one vault gold. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is going to be so good. The magnets, by the way, are kind of useful. It seems as though you uh, it, it sucks up unidentified magnet. So I wonder how good it can possibly be here. Okay, so we, we, a level 9 slot belt. Necklace back belt. Oh, okay, good. 3.6 range plus 1.8% copiously. Boom, now I have a belt. That's awesome. Okay, so now I can complete that, which gives me this beautiful vault alloy. And now what I'm going to do... Actually, what's the next quest? Artisan station modifying. Okay, good. We'll worry about that some other time. But for now, I want to actually make this vault chest piece, which I think is going to be... The, the chest piece I have now is level zero chest piece. Come on, guys. Level zero? Not good. We need one vault gold as well. There we go. Unidentified vault chest plate. Roll beginner. Probably not going to be a good one, is it? A rusty knight chest plate. Five armor, which is better. 5.5 ability power, better. Plus three health, better. Slightly better than the one I have on. Oh, and it matches my pants and my helmet, maybe? Maybe just my pants. But hey, you know what? That is better than nothing. Hello. Membrane. Six of them right away. Perfect. I only needed like two. But I'm going to go ahead and get some more in case somebody else... So another hermit needs a um, an elytra. Awesome. How much did I end up with? Ten membranes. Here it comes. The moment of truth. I now have an elytra. Oh, baby. Now, can I put it on my belt? Blue trinket, red trinket, head, necklace, back. Oh, it doesn't work. So I have to actually take off the vault chest plate. I wonder if there's a way to infuse a chest plate with an elytra. That would be awesome. Now, I have been collecting a lot of gunpowder, which is good news for me because I need to make some rockets. Do I have enough reeds? 62. That's going to be close enough. Did I call them reeds? What year is this? Here, let's just go like this. I now have 64 rockets. The first flight of many. Oh, baby. It is nice to be able to fly and look at the arch from the sky here. Oh, that's so cool. I cannot wait. Maybe it's just one big building on top and then other buildings dangling from... I think that's what I'll do because it looks like it's pointier than I was expecting. So one big building, other buildings hanging from the side, and then over here maybe do like a lens of some sort. That'll look kind of nice. That is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I am having so much fun with this mod pack. Please, if you're enjoying watching me play the mod pack and discovering all these things, please do not hesitate to click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload one of these awesome episodes. I'm having more and more fun with each episode, and I hope that you guys can tell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.